Hi guys, welcome back to Spoon Feeding Profits. Um, yeah, so tonight I have a haul video I want to share. Um, what you see on the screen. It's mainly clothing. It's not a lot. It's just, um, I stopped in a couple, about, uh, not a couple, but three or four thrift stores within the past three days. Not really hardcore sourcing, just running in for a few minutes here and there. And I just found a few things. Um, and I wanted to share that with you guys. So, um, yeah, we're going to get into my thrift haul. I got like four hard goods there. Um, but yeah, give me one second. Let me just check and see the chat. If there's anybody in there. All right, so we're going to get into it. Hi, Jackie. Jackie has entered the chat. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go through these items on the screen. All right, let's get into it. Um, we'll start with the hard goods first since it's just a few of those. I picked up this sealed uh, Fuji film uh, floppy floppy disk it's a sealed pack uh, 10 in here um, I paid a dollar as it's you see mark on there these go for like about 10 bucks plus shipping I see them go for like ten dollars plus seven seven dollars shipping eight dollars shipping it's not much but I picked it up so there we go it's an easy flip and it's easy to package as well Oh, before I go ahead, the total spent for this lot is about $150. Um, yeah, $150 I spent for this lot. All right, so next item, I, this was like almost mint, uh, Calvin Klein's men's loafers. These here, hey, Redneck and Resales. <laughs> Good to see you. Or good to see you in the chat is what I meant to say. But yeah, um, these are some Calvin Klein loafers I picked up for seven seven dollars, as you see on underneath. Calvin Klein shoes is um I don't really pick those up, but this particular one felt really like really good quality. And on the inside, the model is uh Whitaker, W H I T A K E R, and I noticed they sell pretty well. Like the brand new ones would go for around 80 on eBay. And the used ones, you're talking about, I should get 50 bucks for this easy, um, plus shipping maybe, maybe, eh, we'll see. About $50 though, I paid $7, so I can't go wrong. Like I said, it's in mint condition. All right, so that is item number two. Here I got this vintage um, caboodles. C A B O O D L E S. That's what that is. Caboodles. It's like a makeup cosmetic organizer. Um, it looks bigger on the screen than it actually is. But um, yeah, these um, this this one I saw some go for twenty. Uh, twenty eight. This one looks nicer than the ones I saw, and it looks more retro too. So. Say about 30 bucks, maybe, for this, I'm gonna ask. But yeah, it's a makeup organizer. Uh-oh, how do I do this? Don't break it. Um, okay, I paid two bucks for that. I have to figure out how to open it, but yeah, it would be cool to see what it looks like in there. Um, I figured it out before. Oh, there we go. Um, All right, so it's a makeup organizer. This is like a, there you go, All right? They sell, I saw them selling. So this item here, I was gonna put it back, but I forgot it in the cart. And um, I wasn't paying attention when the lady was checking me out. So I paid, it sells, it goes for about 50, honestly. And this is, everyone that's sold, Nobody had the box for it, so I was like, I'm 
I do hard goods if I can make a lot for the most part. But anyways, it looks pretty good condition. It comes with a manual. I can't go wrong. I'm going to make some money on it. I just was moody with it. And I was going to put it back, but I got stuck with it. And I will flip it. But I paid 10 bucks. Like I said, I see them going for like 48 um, used. So it's a vintage um, Omega timer, I guess. This is electronic timer. So yeah. And now for my favorite part. Let's get into the clothing. Um, I did find a brand new uh, Banana Republic men's dress shirt. But my husband snatched that up. So there we go. <laughs> but yeah. This is a... So this brand... I looked it up and I saw it selling decent for like 30 bucks, 40 if you can find it in cashmere this is daniel bishop never heard of it before but um it says extra fine merino wool on the tag and i checked them up and i see some cashmere ones going of course cashmere sells better but the basic ones sell for like 30 bucks i saw like 26 used so i figure i can't go wrong with this i paid 4.99 for this other thrift store so it's a men's um, kind of like olive v-neck sweater. That is what this is. But yeah, nothing crazy. It's just merino wool, and I should get it easy. Even though it's long sleeve and stuff, it will sell. I could see that selling before the season's over. Um, this was a score. This was the last thrift store, and I was getting, I was about to be done because I didn't find much, but. I found two Bonobos shirt. Guys, this is a bolo brand if you're not familiar with Bonobos. I've sold used pants before for like almost 40 bucks. So you wanna check this out. But yeah, these are really nice and it's perfect for the season. Um, it has like a parrots or macaws on there. Really nice print by a great brand. I did not check it up yet, plus it's slim fit. I only paid 2 dollars um yeah short sleeve i honestly my guess would be at least 40 dollars for this based on what i know from the brand so pretty good score like i said i got two of those here's the other one bonobos 2.99 this one is more like a palm tree print men's short sleeve shirt so this should do pretty well again 35 40 bucks i'm guessing especially that macaw print should do really well um here we go so this is another brand this is mint condition the shirt that's why i picked it up it was 2.99 as well can't go wrong with that and it says riscato r-i-s-c-a-t-t-o um hmm. imported european fabric I saw this brand going for like 20, 25. And like I said, this one is in almost mint condition. It's 100% uh, it's rayon. So I don't see why I don't, I, I can't get it easy, 20, 25 dollars on it. I, it's a, this is the, they have kind of weird prints with this brand. So folks that are into this type of stuff will buy it. Again, 299, I couldn't go wrong with that. This is just a basic Chico's top, but I find certain prints for Chico sells. Again, um, I paid $3.99 for this. Probably too much, but I find I could I'm pretty sure I could sell this real fast for like $19.99 plus $3.99 shipping. Pretty sure about it. I've been selling this brand a lot and this type of stuff sells. Chico's. There you go. Um Next, it's not a brand I pick up that often, but it was a men's jogger, so I paid $4.99 for this. Air Apostle, brand new with tag, um, men's jogger. So my guess is at least $25 bucks plus shipping with this. It says $44 retail, $44.50. I should get an easy... Um, $25, right? 29 total, maybe? We'll see. And, yeah. 
$4.99 paid for that. Okay, one of my favorite items to find is this uh, vintage Reebok. Um, that's the vintage Reebok right there. And what I find, I've shared this before, is the side that has the logo, especially when the logo is the same color as the pants itself. I find those sell well, right? This one is in actually great condition. It's a green, um, and it's a big size. It's a size XL. So I could see this going for about 35 plus 30, 35, maybe 35. This is in excellent condition. Um, 35 plus maybe shipping. So we'll see. Because I sold one before for, well, the most recent one, I should say, for like 29. And it was in, wasn't in great condition. This one is in great condition. I found a basic for Joy um, golf polo shirt. You know, of course, the for Joy with the Titleist logo on the sleeve. Like you, if you were watching my last haul, I think I had one in there. But those go for way more. These are basic. I'll probably get like 20 plus shipping on this. But yeah, uh, for Joy sells for a great golf brand. And they have it on the collar as well. So there we go. $3.99 paid for this. Just a basic polo shirt. This here was a, is, is, not was, is a women's. Harley Davidson shirt. It has some interesting um, design pattern on it. Embroidery. Embroidered. Embroidery sells really well. Um, on the back has this huge Harley Davidson. Um, I could see it easy and it's in great condition. It's a black. Um, I paid huh, five bucks for that. I can see 35 plus shipping for this as well. Is it embroidery? Yes, it is. 35, maybe 39 plus shipping. We'll see what I get. Um, here. So I picked up a vintage Lily Pulitzer. Lily Pulitzer is a great brand. A lot of her stuff is like floral, but it sells really well. This is like a, not like a, it's a cardigan, button front cardigan, um, women's. It's not in the best condition. It's it has a small spot, but it's literally Pulitzer. I know it's gonna sell. So because of the spot, I'll probably do twenty four plus about four ninety nine shipping. It's a great brand. Check it out if you're not familiar. Um, next item is this. It's a brand I don't pick up that often, Crown and Ivy, but I could not pass it up for two bucks, and it was brand new with the tags so tag original price is 65 something sells well in this brand i've picked up maybe once or twice before but yeah it's a really nice summer women's kind of blouse for two bucks could not pass it up so crown and ivy that should sell i don't know yet maybe 29 plus shipping is what i'll do all right Okay, here we have a women's Columbia, just a basic Columbia, well, I shouldn't say basic because it's vintage. Women's Columbia shirt, fishing shirt. Um, if you notice, know, the reason I bought it, because I really just, for the most part, I buy the performance fishing gear model, but this one was vented in the back. So that's definitely gonna add to it. So I see, and the pattern is pretty nice. It's like, um. Wow, what's this animal called? But yeah, I could see an easy $24.99 plus shipping. I paid $3.50 for this shirt. It's women's. That should sell. Um this here. J Joe's been doing really well for me. Brand new J Joe with tag. Um it's like a women's hoodie. Really nice white. J. Jill is an awesome brand to find. I paid five bucks for this. Um, trying to see what the price was. Okay, it says original price was 49. All right, 
So since it's coming off season, I could see, I could still see I get uh, getting hmm, 30 plus shipping. I could still see it selling. This is a brand new Tommy Hilfiger men's uh, dress shirt. Huh. My husband didn't see this one. <laughs> it's a nice, um, it's a size XL. Um, brand new with tag. Does not have the original price on here, but for $4.99, I couldn't go wrong. Right? Brand new men's Tommy Hilfiger uh, shirt. Probably, hmm, I'll have to research it. I don't sell a whole lot of Tommy Hilfiger, but it was a nice shirt, so. Um, this was a really nice Chico's women's kind of sweater. It's not really thick. It's, it's fairly thick, but it, it's really, really, really nice. It has like a shiny kind of look to it as well. And the design is awesome. So I can see this going for 29 plus shipping. Really, really nice. I paid $3.99 for this, I believe. Um, I picked this up. This is a Marmot Windbreaker jacket. I paid $4.99 for that at the Goodwill. Um, it's a really nice one. It's, um, it's a lightweight, super lightweight. Nothing really, well, it's okay. Marmot, I don't know, can you see that? Marmot. It's a good brand to find. Um, I didn't do any research on this particular one, but maybe 35 plus shipping, 39 plus shipping. I should get for this. It's a really nice lightweight windbreaker jacket. Has the Marmot logo on the back. All right, 499, maybe 35, 39 plus shipping, because that's a great brand to find. This is an amazing brand to find right here. This is a St. John, not to be confused with St. John's Bay, but St. John, it's a really high-end women's brand. It's just a navy skirt, pretty basic, but the brand will fetch a decent price. My guess is 39 um, for this, and it's navy, so it should go, plus shipping, all right? That's what I will be asking for that. This was just a basic, um, I think it was a J. Crew. Yep. It was a really good condition J. Crew sweater. I thought the colors were pretty nice. I figure somebody's gonna buy it. It's a size medium used. I paid two bucks for this. But yeah, it's like a purple and gray. Interesting. So yeah, buy a good brand. Uh maybe $22.99. Plus four nine nine shipping for that. Um, let's see what I have over here. Okay, so this is just a pillowcase, right? But it had an interesting, looks kind of retro, slam dunk basketball, all American sports stars. So what I did was I checked for the tag, and it says Company Kids, the company store. If you check this brand up, you'll see they have some vintage pillowcases. Um, nothing crazy, but I didn't see any like this, with this design. So I figure for, I think I paid a dollar or two dollars for this. I figure I can't go wrong. It is um, the NBA playoffs at the moment. So yeah, I don't see why it won't sell. I don't know what I'm going to be asking yet either, but... I know at least 25 bucks. All right. Um, this is a Columbia women's performance fishing gear vintage shirt. Really nice. Um, almost excellent condition as well. It's a snap front, snap front shirt. Um, it's vented in the back. I paid $3.99 for this. I should get it has the Columbia on the front as well. I should uh 29 free ship 
or even 29 plus 399 ship this particular one can go for the color the quality is really good on that one um let me put this stuff forward okay all right so winding down um guys if you if you're enjoying the vid um you can definitely give me a like i appreciate that okay so this is a polo jeans company one of my favorite polo lines to find this is a if you've been watching you know i like polo jeans company you know i like pants with patches on them so this was a polo jeans really nice <laughs> This is at least $59, $69 I'm going to get for this. The U.S., what does it say? U.S.R.L. Um, then you have the patch up here. It's a men's carpenter jeans. No, it's a carpenter. No, it's not carpenter, but it does have a pocket on the side. Really, really nice score. I paid, I, uh, I paid four bucks. Four bucks for this. It's really, really nice. It's a men's pretty decent size let me see yep size 34 so i should not i can't see going wrong with this all right i'm thinking at least 59 dollars for this paid four bucks here i want to see i i have um two of the same shirts here okay yeah So this is a Facanable. This uh, brand used to do amazing a few years ago. Every now and then you'll still get, you know, a decent sale depending on the shirt. The reason I picked this one up is because it was two bucks and I found two of them. They're in really good condition, a red and a black. So they're both size small. You can't go wrong, right? Two men's kind of dress shirt, work shirt, I guess. Um, or casual, I don't know, Pacanable. But yeah, I don't see why I can't get a quick $35 on these two. <clears throat> Plus shipping. This is a great brand. It's an outdoors athletic kind of brand. It's Endura. I found a few Endura stuff. Well, I saw a few Endura, E-N-D-U-R-A. I'm not sure if you've seen that. But... Yeah, I saw a few in the thrift store, but they were all really, really worn. So, but this shorts was in excellent condition. I should get at least thirty-five dollars for this. It's really nice. It has two, two material, two different types of material on the back. Yes, yeah, like an outdoor. Uh, I don't know. Windbreaker type shorts is what it is. So check out that brand, Endura. It's a really good brand. <clears throat> this is a North Face women's khaki kind of a beige um, capri, hiking capri. It is, I want to say it's nylon. Is it nylon? Or polyester? Because that matters. That matters with um, outdoorsy. Yeah, this is polyester blend. But um, <clears throat> it's a Cargo Capri, the North Face women's. Here we have the North Face on the pocket. So it's in excellent condition. I want to say it's almost mint or maybe worn once or twice. Um, two bucks for that. Here, actually, I found another of the North Face. This, this time it was brand new with tag. The same pants are capri like you just saw. This one is a little bigger. Um, I think I paid five bucks. Let me see. Yep, five dollars in the red. Five bucks, brand new attack, North Face. This is my second time finding a brand new North Face um, for five bucks. Pretty cool score. The price on here says 55 so maybe 39 plus shipping I, sh I should do well with that um what is this 
you know, I think I bought this for myself, but it's in here. But then this is a great brand, Joan Ross. I found it once, sold for over 40 bucks. I think it was a, huh, was it a skirt or a jacket? I can't remember. Not a jacket, but a blouse. But yeah, this is a long cardigan. I think I bought it for myself. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to try it on and see. But yeah, it's just a long open front cardigan. Great brand. So I can resell this if I can keep this. That I paid $2 for. Probably get like 29 plus shipping for it because of the brand. Guys, one of my other favorite brands to find is you can never go wrong with Christian Dior. So this is a vintage Christian Dior sweats. Um, especially the ones with the lining inside. It's pretty good. Even Nike. When you find the Nike ones with the lining, and especially if it's a, uh, maybe a 90s Nike tag. I recently found two of those, and I flipped them real quick for 40 each. I could have gone higher, but I wanted the quick flips. Yeah, so the, here's a Dior tag on the back. So Christian Dior, I paid um, I paid four ninety nine for this. So maybe forty dollars. I've never found uh, sweatpants Christian Dior before, but I'll have to check it out. But my guess would be thirty five forty. Yeah, on that. And. We have almost famous. I buy it only brand new. And the deal has to be a good deal because some style sells and some styles I find that I waited a long time. So now I'm super picky. I got this one for $4.99. $4.99 with the red. The distress one sells pretty well, the pattern ones. Um, it's a flare leg, so that, that's another thing that sells well with women's. Uh, women's pants or women's jeans their leg does really well um, And it has a really nice pattern to the back if you notice right there see that right there That stuff sells when it comes to jeans. So for 4 dollars I think let me see It doesn't say what the original price is, but I could see easy 29 plus shipping for this It's not a whole lot but it sells. I hear, last but not least, um, <laughs> I found, I didn't know Oshkosh. I know this brand Oshkosh, but I thought it was just kids clothing. I really did, so I was surprised when I saw this huge men's size 34 by 32 um, cargo pants, brand new a tag. It says 39.50 as retail, right there. And they're selling on eBay too. I did not know Oshkosh made men's pants. So I picked $4.99, brand new with tag. Um, yeah, I should get, hmm. But then here I found another one, same size. One of them said $6.99, one of them said $4.99. But what I found with most thrift stores is there will, um, they will honor if it's the same item. These were the same, they were the same size and everything. It was just different colors. So I told the lady and she honored the, the lowest price. This is not the first time I've had that happen. Um, one time I bought like six men's suits, brand new with tag. Uh, one of them says $14.99 and the rest said, I wanna say it said $60.99 or $90.99, but she honored the $14.99 price. So you can definitely ask, most thrift stores will do that. Well, not most, some thrifters will do that. But yeah, brand new Oshkosh. Same thing like that one, just a different color. I might lot them together, we'll see. Um, yeah, if I lot them together, I'll probably, so I, almost 10 bucks I paid for it. If I lot them together, I'll probably do 59 plus shipping. Uh, yeah, so pretty good score. Like I said, it was just a, if you were running back and forth into the thrift store, I wasn't like really set out to go thrifting any one of these days. So it's amazing what you can find just, you know, just running in for a few minutes every now and then. So that's my haul for tonight, guys. Um, hope you learned a new brand or something new from the video, right? Um, but yeah, 
that's what I so I paid about 150 for that I should make that money back a little easy um, especially those bonobos shirt those were the fine for me I really like finding that and the Christian Dior the Christian Dior sweatpants so that's it for tonight guys um like the video if you haven't yet subscribe if you haven't yet and remember to be kind out there all right see you soon